artist. Today we're going to draw and paint this fox. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paint brushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for this style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab our pencil. We're kind of going to make a uh, like a football shape almost, like half a football like this and then we're going to curve it down and now it looks like a football. I'm going to go ahead and draw the nose in, not halfway but a little lower than halfway and it's just kind of a triangle. Draw a line down and then connect it to the bottom of this football shape like this. We're going to go ahead and add just some pointy lines. If you want, you can go ahead and erase those original lines now, or you can wait till later, whatever you prefer. So now we have the face of the fox here. We're gonna draw in some eyes, which are just kind of like slanty like this. Kind of like his eyes are closed. And you can draw open eyes if you want. And then also the color of his face here. We're just going to go ahead and draw that line in. So this part will be white and that part up here will be orange. And go ahead and draw in the ears. So a line up like this and then kind of swoop it down to here. And then we'll draw in this part of the ear and a little line here. This little section will be black then. Then you can take pencil and kind of zigzag. That's the hair inside of the ear. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of swoop up and then curve and back down and then fill in this top part like that. You want your ears to be close to the same size. So if it's looking a little smaller or bigger than you want, go ahead and take your eraser and just go ahead and fix that. They don't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get. And then we're going to do the same thing with the hair here, kind of like pointy. Now over here, I didn't fully connect these. So if you want to go ahead and erase that line, some of that line, you can just so you remember when we're going in with our marker. All right. From about this point, we're going to go ahead and swoop down and around. We're going to just gonna stop there until we fill in some more of this belly. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pencil and kind of draw just a swoop line like this. So we should have kind of a silly little shape, kind of like an S shape almost. And then we're going to draw some points for the fur coming off of there. The leg in the back here can see that's right here and then the leg in the front is kind of swooped around like this. Okay, we're going to fill in with some more pointy lines till we get down here to the leg and then we're going to finish off that tail by starting like about here where the leg is. Pretend it's curving. Don't start actually drawing till about this point and then up around and then connect and then you can also draw some more of those kind of pointy furs on there on the tail. And then we're going to draw points, zigzags across there. All right. Now that we're done sketching out our fox, we're going to go ahead and take our Sharpie. You're going to go over all those pencil marks that you just made. You can make some of the outside lines a little bit thicker and the inside lines thinner. Um, you can fill in the nose if you want. Also this black part of the ear on both sides. And then once we're done with that, we'll move on to our next step. All right, now that I'm done with my pencil or my Sharpie, I'm going to go ahead and take my eraser. I'm going to erase any pencil marks that I can still see. 
All right, now that I'm done with that, we're gonna go ahead and start painting. So you can go ahead and grab your paper towel and grab your paintbrush. We're gonna start on the head of the fox. So I'm gonna take my wet brush and I'm just gonna make the orange part up here damp. You can even do the ears, just the outside of the ears, not the inside. And then we're gonna grab some orange after that. I believe I used this darker orange. We're gonna start on the outside edges of his face. Since you filled it in with some water, it'll kind of move its way to the center by itself. Just a little, and then we're gonna blend the rest. So filling that in, and then I'll grab some more water and just kind of start swirling and pulling that paint into the middle. You probably going to have to go ahead and grab a little bit more paint for the outside edges here just to make it darker and we just keep blending until we're happy I made the ears just slightly darker If you get too much paint, you can pick some up and wipe it on your paper towel. Since we already have our orange, I'm going to start moving into his body here on the orange sections. So you can just go ahead and again, kind of wet um, where you want the paint to be. You can see I still have some paint left over on my brush, which is fine because we're making this orange anyway. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep filling this in some water don't forget this little section here that is his back leg all right we want it dark down in here because of the tail casting a shadow and also back here this part back here should actually probably be the darkest point dark back in here and also I get the base of his tail here. We're going to slowly pull that up along the tail and it'll get lighter and lighter as we go up. Just like that. I'm going to make it kind of dark under here where his face would be casting a shadow. And then we'll just blend that in. I went ahead and added just a tiny bit of red in with my fox just the littlest bit along like this side and right under the tail and the only reason I did that is just to give it a little bit more color so it wouldn't be such a like just plain orange color mostly where the shadows would be is where I added just a tiny tiny bit of red all right, I think we're done with that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the white parts of this fox. We don't wanna leave it completely white just because there's no shading then. So all I did was took my wet brush and I kind of filled in just a little bit of water in here. I'm gonna do this kind of quickly. We don't want a whole lot of paint because we still want it to look white. I'm going to take just the tiniest, tiniest bit of orange and we're going to go down near the bottom where there's shadows and kind of pull it up like we did before. So again, there's going to be shadows under his face here. So I can start down here and then kind of pull it down just like this. Oop. See, that's too much, too much orange there. So I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna pick some of that up and wipe it on my paper towel. And then the inside of the ears, just a little bit. All right, so that made it kind of a creamy color, but I also went ahead then with a little bit of yellow and kind of went over the, the um, like top spots where where light would be hitting the fox. So the tops of the ears right in here 
the top of the tail here. Again, we're doing this very light because it's on the white part of the fox. So you can go ahead and just kind of smooth that in there. Wipe any on your um, paper towel that you might have gotten too much. Okay, and then I also took some of that yellow in on the orange part of the fox. So again, at the top where the sun would be shining. So we're just gonna go ahead like on the back, the top of the tail here. Okay, and then if you need to blend it, you can just grab a little bit more water, just kind of blend it in a little. Just like that. My paintbrush is falling apart here. I'll get that off when it dries. All right, I think that I'm all done with my fox. If you enjoy doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.